first began training traditional Chinese Gong Fu and Tai Chi as a teenager. At the same time, I was an accomplished wrestler. I can remember a friend of mine in high school thinking I was tough stuff for being on the wrestling team. This short little man came up behind me, put his form in my neck, and choked me out. And it was geography class. I saw the stars, and I almost felt blackout coming. All of my wrestling failed me against this rear naked choke with his forearm, and he didn't even have any martial arts training. So this is a technique that I think everyone should know how to defend themselves against in case somebody on the street chokes you out with their arm from behind. I brought my friend Sakan Lam into this video. Check out all his links down below. Sakan, you have a self-defense application for the rear naked choke. Yep. I have one from Chinese Chin Na. Let's each show our defense and the audience watching can decide whose is better and whose they like the most in the comments. Let's do it. I teach this technique to all my beginning Kung Fu students on the first day they're in class. It's one of our 10 original Chin Na self-defense applications. Chin and Na meaning seizing and holding. It's basically Chinese grappling. And if your opponent comes up behind you and puts that rear naked choke in, they might be able to put you out in less than five seconds because they're not choking out your air. They're choking out your blood flow. Your blood will be severed from your brain and you go out. When you're out, they can take you in the car, they can do anything they want to you. So the first thing I wanna do is, I wanna grab onto his arm just to try to give 10 pounds less force, even if I can just pull a little bit. Almost simultaneously, I wanna bend my knees, get athletic, and get behind my attacker. So one of my legs goes behind right here. I get the superior position and then they can feel that they're in bad trouble because I've got their arm, I've got the superior position of my body, I can turn into them and throw them over my leg, which will pretty much release the choke and you can get out of there. And I'd recommend if you're on the street, getting out of there, turning and fighting the person might leave you open to a knife, a gun, or three of his friends. So get out of there and get to where there are people. If you got choked, you're probably in a fringe area, and that means an area where there's no people within 30 seconds. We're in some park here in Thailand, and I see no people, so we're definitely in a fringe area. One more time. So check it, his choke comes in. Almost simultaneously, I grab just for a little bit of relief. I bend my knees, and I try to step behind and keep close to him, hip to hip, body to body, and I don't let him take his arm back. Then I'm gonna elbow into his body and turn into him and try to throw him over top of my leg. All my horse stance training paying off at this moment and I'm out. Check it out from the back. Okay, pull down, root the knees, step behind. Get that leg deep back there. Turn into him, try to throw him down and get yourself to safety. Okay, so uh, Sifu Jake showed his variation of the defense from Chinna, and I'll show mine, which I learned from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So, uh, if someone comes in with the choke, okay, especially if they know what they're doing, they got two hands, hands behind the head, their head is really close and tight, right? I'm not gonna be able to beat the groin and do any poking stuff, it's just not gonna work, I don't have the time. Most people are right handed, so I train my left elbow. I'm gonna make space with my hips, I'm gonna shoot my elbow around, I'm gonna square up my hips to his hips. We want a perpendicular position. It's very similar to what Jake was showing. Now from here, I'm gonna capture the far hip. I'm gonna reach down, cup underneath the leg. I'm gonna lift this up and a pressure with the head. And drop him down in a spiral. Here, most people are right-handed, so guarantee that that's gonna happen. From here, take my left elbow, shoot around, capture the hip. Now from here, this one shoots over and I lift. I put my weight of my head over towards this side so it makes this leg heavy. Whoop! I spiral around. Bam! Now look, get away. Another option is we can go for uh, the sacrifice throw, which is my favorite. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to do this on the street because it's, it's a kind of a wrestling move. You'd end up on the ground, but I like doing it anyway, so I'll just give you an example. So, goes for the choke. Again, elbow here. Here, okay? So I'm gonna squat and I drop down. Good. Nice. That's it. That puts me in a very weird position and yeah, yeah. gets you superior. Exactly, exactly. John, that's a cool, slick move. Oh. <laughs> 
I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here in Thailand. Thanks yeah. for being a great host. It was great to, uh, to cross arms and legs with you again. <laughs> my pleasure. You guys can vote down in the comments which of the three self-defense techniques from the rear naked choke do you think is most effective, do you like best? I would suggest going into your martial arts school, get a partner and try each one of them. Do each one 50 times and see which one you think you're most efficient with. Sakan and I both will read all the comments down below. You can check out all his links in the description.